How much is too much camera? So we're here at the Capital Factory. We're going to be uh, meeting with a company called Carable. They are a website that essentially uh, helps facilitate person-to-person -person car sales. Um, that's about all I know. This is gonna be my first time to meet with Carable. Chris has met with them before, but we'll get the pitch, hear what it's all about, see what they're looking to do. I was so excited to ride these around town. Fall, like, and fall lasted like three days. <laughs> now it's too cold. My kids are going to love coming to the office. Oh, yes. Hi. Hey, I'm Dave. Patrick, Patrick good to nice meet to you. See you again. See you, Patrick. You, Chris. Jordan, Jordan, Patrick. I, I'm, uh, I'm happy. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And now it's time for lunch. Apparently there's a uh, really good Italian restaurant within walking distance of this office. Alright, what do you think? About lunch? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think about this guy? Um, it seems like he's got a lot going on, right? So, this is the only thing that he's doing. You say he's got like three businesses? That's kind of concerning. I think the idea is fine. I, I don't know how big the market is. Carbo is essentially a service that helps in person-to-person -person car sales. From helping the seller figure out the right listing price using black book data, to listing it on the Carbo website, or really any website. The real differentiator is that they have a relationship with Firestone stores, so the seller can take their vehicle to a Firestone, have a full inspection done, that inspection report becomes a part of the listing. They say it helps helps sell the car faster. Their other differentiator is they help uh, with the financial aspect of the transaction. So instead of standing in the parking lot, handing over the keys and hoping the title gets transferred, they have an escrow account. They handle the money, they help with the title transfer. Yeah, that's the biggest question is, are how many people are selling their cars peer to peer versus trading them in? To me, trading in your car makes sense because you get the sales tax credit and it's easy. I'm so sorry guys, I have bad news. They are out of the Can I do uh, pepperoni jalapeno lunch size yeah. pizza? Oh, on my on my pepperoni, can you have them go light on the pepperonis? Yeah. Can I have olives on half of my pizza too? Yeah. The fact that he's had some success doing this in another country. Like success in another country, this sounds like, why do we? Operated a business in another country and sold the brand and At a loss. technology. At a heavy loss, right? Yeah, and fled to America. Wait, why do we keep talking to companies that have a failure well, because they're here trying, they're here trying to find success. I just think it's funny that we've got, you know, multiple just automotive companies that have not shown traction outside the U.S. Yeah. enough, enough traction, and then are trying it here. My biggest thing is I don't want to be in an automotive company. I feel like we've kind of done that. How many people would switch from trading a car in to selling it privately on a cars.com or auto trader or eBay if there was a tool like this that made it seamless. So you gotta figure how much more money can you get by doing it this way? And does that offset whatever your offset local tax. sales tax rate is? Yeah. And the $500 extra you have to charge. So, right. Oh, but I feel we owe it to ourselves and to him to make an injury, at least to bring Lynn Absolutely. in. Absolutely. No, Lynn needs to talk to him. Yeah. Lynn would be fantastic at like vetting this as a concept and sorry for the news I gave to you for this. Oh, it's so nice to you. Okay. Oh, I had the meatballs last week. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was driving through a construction zone where evidently the speed limit was 20. And I assume I was going faster than 20. I'm gonna fight it. If he wins, that's fine. But that's an expensive ticket.
your head back tree.